Welcome everyone. The first way to access ADB on Android is you're going to get this app here, ADB OTG Android Debug Bridge. What this is, is this an ADB shell where you can send commands from one Android phone to another Android phone. I will have a timestamp for if you only have one Android device, how you can access ADB. But this is the most convenient solution because with this app, when we open it, we can use features such as entering fast boot mode. We could root this Android using this other Android, which means no computer is needed. So on the phone, you want to ADB2. We need to go to the developer options area of settings. And if you don't know how to access this, I'll have a dedicated tutorial for that in the description. And we just need to turn on the USB debugging. Now once that's on, we're going to connect both Androids using the charging cable. Okay, so this phone's plugged in. And while we're in the ADB app, we're going to connect this other Android. So it says allow ADB to access and then the Android phone. Tap on OK. And then you're going to see allow USB debugging. We're going to allow. So once we've done this, we can now enter in whatever commands we want. So I can't remember half the commands. Let's see if this works. Fast boot, flashing, reboot. Okay, that is, that is not a command, but uh, you can enter in whatever commands you use. I actually don't know which one is which, but uh, you, know, you get the point. If you know the commands, you enter it in and then you can remotely root this other Android phone by entering the command you need here. Okay. There is also the GitHub website. If you'd like to look at the source code here. And there we go. Now, if you only have one Android device, then what you will need to do is you will need to download this app here called ADB shell dash debug toolbox. And when we open this app, you're going to see pair mode. Just turn this on and tap on pair. And then we need to turn on the storage permission for this app. And we'll tap on pair, allow, okay. And it's going to put some tutorial here to tap on pair. And now we are in the ADB. Again, if you're having issues with this, I would recommend that you have the developer options on. And you also need to have the USB debugging on. And then from here, you can enter in the commands. Now, if I look illiterate with these commands, it's because I don't know what the commands are. Okay. So, I don't know. It's, you, you will know, right, with these commands, but so that is the solution. With that being said, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.